Hello, today I'm going to talk to you about the Lush Kitchen menu for the week of September 19th through the 23rd. And Lush is having some pretty special things here and there uh, next week in their Lush Kitchen. If you guys have been reading my blog, you know all about the special goodies, Christmas goodies, Oxford Street goodies, and all the crazy inventions and new products from from the Lush Creative Showcase. And so you might have seen a couple of products that are in my blog that the Lush Kitchen is going to be making next week. Now Monday, Lush Kitchen is going to be making Sweet Japanese Girl Facial Cleanser. And also they're going to be making on Monday Vanilla Delight Lotion. And Sweet Japanese Girl is a facial cleanser, much like the Baby Face Lush Facial Cleanser. It's a little solid cocoa butter bar with the face of a little Japanese girl. It's got ground azuki beans in it. And basically, you use it as a cleanser. So what you do is it warms up with the heat of your hand, so you can rub it in your hand, and then you rub that all over your face. And then you take a... Uh, a soft cloth, a, a facial washcloth, and cotton, stuff like that, and then you rinse it with uh, warm water afterwards and dry off and you're done. And basically it takes off makeup and oils and uh, leaves you with soft moisturized skin afterwards and the and the ground up azuki beans in it acts as an exfoliator so it can help exfoliate your skin while you're cleansing it. And I would give Sweet Japanese Girl a three out of five. If I'm gonna use a solid cocoa butter facial cleanser, I'd probably use Baby Face before I would use a Sweet Japanese Girl. So I would rate Sweet Japanese Girl a three out of five rating. And then also on Monday is Vanilla Delight Body Lotion. And here's the Vanilla Delight Body Lotion. This lotion was made in the same scent as the Vanillary scent that Lush sells. Uh, Lush makes a perfume that they sell in the stores called Vanillary and Lush has made a handful of other products with the same scent as well. And I don't know if you guys remember the Lush Kitchen made a bath bomb called Vanilla Fountain a couple of weeks ago and this Vanilla Delight body lotion is the same scent as the Vanilla Fountain. It's the same scent as the Lush Heavenly massage bar shaped like a heart and stuff like that. So it's, it's made with real vanilla and sandalwood, and it's one of my favorite fragrances from Lush. It says, smooth is in the heart. Delightfully soothing vanillary loveliness will keep you filled with satisfaction. It says, exotic elite butter, vitamin packed fresh kiwi fruit and comforting fair trade vanilla absolute will soften and fragrance your skin all day. This is made with hibiscus flower infusion, spring water, coconut water, coconut oil, cocoa butter, kiwi fruit, vanilla absolute, elip butter, jasmine, tonka bean, organic tamanu oil, and anise alcohol. So it smells oh, sweet sandalwood and vanilla. So if you have very sweet vanilla, and then you throw some sandalwood in there. That's exactly what it smells like. You got sweet, creamy vanilla and woodsy, incensey, earthy sandalwood. And the two of those together, oh, I don't know why. I just am nuts about this fragrance. I have a Heavenly massage bar in my refrigerator. It came all melted, so I threw it in the fridge. And I just kept it in there because every time I open up the refrigerator, I pick up that thing and smell it every single time because <laughs> I'm addicted to that smell. So I would rate Vanilla Delight a 4 out of 5 rating. It's fairly thick. It's, it's fairly thick. Let's see if we can show you how thick it is. So that's how thick it is. Mm. And the scent really stays, that lovely, sexy vanilla fragrance stays on your skin um, after you put it.
put it on and after it sinks into your skin and you rub it in, you can smell that sweet, creamy vanilla and sexy sandalwood scent all over you, which is awesome. On Tuesday, we have a Wonder Woohoo Bubble Bar and Prince Shower Gel. Here's Wonder Woohoo. Here's Wonder Woohoo. And Wonder Woohoo was made in the Gorilla perfume fragrance called The Sun. So it's got orange, tangerine, mimosa, sandalwood again. Here's what it looks like. I have mine wrapped up, but it's a gold glittery bar with a red star in the middle. So it's like, it's like, basically it's like Wonder Woman's um, little thing she has in her crown. <laughs> this was made for Mother's Day one year because all mothers are Wonder Women. That's right. And those of us who have twins should have two of these. <laughs> so it's a gorgeous bar as you can see. I have a demo and review of this here on my YouTube channel and on my blog. Here's a link to my Wonder Woohoo demo so you can see the glittery goldness in the tub. The sandalwood in this isn't real noticeable. Mostly you smell that lovely tangerine flavor and it's flavor, <laughs> scent, and it's got just a tiny bit of a floral note in there from the mimosa. And if you wonder what mimosa smells like, Lush makes a bath bomb called Sakura, and uh, they make rub, 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 scrub. That's made with mimosa. So there's a tiny bit of it in this, along with other things like sandalwood and, um, and orange. Some of you guys have seen my plate o Oxford Street bath oils <laughs> video around. And there's uh, one of the bath oils that Lush makes at Oxford Street is called Sun. The Sun and the Sun bath oil and Wonder Woohoo are all made with the same fragrance. And oh, and I oh I just noticed my my fingernails are the same color. <laughs> yeah, I did that on purpose. <laughs> so I would rate Wonder Woohoo a four out of five rating. And also on Tuesday, along with Wonder Woohoo, is Prince Shower Gel. And <clears throat> here's Prince Shower Gel. Now, Prince Shower Gel is very, very orangey and citrusy, and it has a lot of neroli. Originally, this was made for men. Um, that's why it's called the Prince Fragrance. And let me read. It says, feel regal with the sophisticated shower gel, which has orange flower absolute, sweet orange, neroli, and mandarin oils to make your skin bright and your mood cheerful. The fragrance is sweet and earthy, balanced with grounding vetiver and a splash of fresh lemon juice. So this is mega, mega citrusy. It's got tons of orange, tons of neroli, orange flower. Neroli is kind of a cousin of the orange flower. So it's very citrusy and very wakey uppy. And the color of the shower gel, is that gorgeous or what? It's like this sort of deep blue green color. I hope I'm doing a good job of showing the color right there. This used to be my favorite shower gel, my all time favorite shower gel back about 10 years ago. Since then, Lush has made a lot of other shower gels that have replaced it as my favorite, but I still have a fondness for prints just because of that smell. It's just, you know, I love oranges. You guys know I like certain things. I like oranges, I like cardamom, I like frankincense, and I like sandalwood, right? So this is right up my alley. So I would rate Prince Shower Gel a four out of five rating. Lush made a uh, soap and uh, bubble bar in the print scent that I have as well, if you want to check that out on my blog. Wednesday in the Lush Kitchen. Two things. We have Mother of Dragons, which is also on my blog, and Butterball Shower Gel. <laughs> now, you guys know that Butterball Shower Gel is on my top five list of all the thousands of products Lush has made in the entire universe since the dawn of the universe. Okay, so 
Butterball Shower Gel right up there with me. And it's just my opinion. I just think this smells like chocolate. It smells like chocolate. Um, I don't know if I'm the only one who smells this, but I mean, Lush even advertised it as smelling like chocolate too. So I guess I'm not the only one, but Butterball is a small bath bomb that they sell in all of the Lush stores and have sold that in Lush stores for years and years and years and years and years. It's one of the few uh, Lush bath bombs that has chunks of cocoa butter in it. And basically it smells like sweet cream and butter. It's very rich and comforting smelling. It's got a little bit of a lang a lang in there as well. It smells only ever so slightly floral, a tiny bit of sweetness, and more like fresh cream and butter. So it smells somewhat chocolatey, and that's what the Butterball shower gel smells like. It's thick. It's one of the thicker shower gels. It's not any, it's just a regular kind of cream color, off white color. So, um, I had at one time 10 bottles of Butterball Shower Gel, so I'm not going to be buying any more because I still have about six bottles. So I would rate, just me personally, I would rate Butterball a 5 out of 5 rating. It's extra moisturizing because it's got cocoa butter in here, unlike other shower gels. And you guys know I have notoriously dry skin. So there's many reasons why I love this and why I think it's a 5 out of 5 rating. Also on Wednesday, Mother of Dragons Bath Bomb. Check out my blog. Here's a link to it. And basically, Mother of Dragons is a giant dragon's egg bath bomb. A regular bath bomb is about 200, 220 grams. This Mother of Dragons bath bomb is 750 grams. It's three times the size of a regular bath bomb. So, oh my God, right? While I haven't used one, I certainly know all about them. And basically, everything that's in a regular dragon's egg bath bomb that Lush sells in stores, that's what's in the Mother of Dragons bath bomb. It's just giant size. So they're 12 pounds. So that works out to about, that works out to about $17, $18 each for those of us who are paying in American dollars. And so I have no choice but to rate the Mother of Dragons a five out of five rating. I mean, the bath bombs are five out of five, so why wouldn't three times the bath bomb be five out of five? So, so I would highly suggest you get one of these because Lush North America is not going to be getting these for Christmas. Only Lush Oxford Street and only the Lush Kitchen. So if I were you, I would definitely buy at least one of these. Thursday, in the Lush Kitchen, we have something called Nebula Bath Bomb. Now, again, I have that in my blog at lushalot.com. I have a whole page about Nebula. This was showcased at the Lush Creative Showcase on September 13th. And I believe, I'm not positive, but I believe it's also at Lush Oxford Street. Basically, Nebula is a giant intergalactic bath bomb, a 750 gram size intergalactic bath bomb. So it's three times the size of a regular intergalactic bath bomb. So this is about things about this big. So it's 12 pounds, again, between about $17, $18 for those of us paying in US dollars. It's minty, it's got gorgeous light frosty blue glitter. It makes a dark blue, gorgeous sparkly blue water. It's one of my favorite bath bombs. And so I'm definitely be, gonna be getting a couple. And so I have no choice but to rate Nebula a five out of five rating as well, even though I haven't tried it because Intergalactic is a five out of five bath bomb in my opinion. So why wouldn't a three times the size Intergalactic be any less? So I'm definitely gonna be trying to get one and I suggest you try to get one too. And then on Friday we have 
the So White Shower Gel. As some of you know, I have all the 2016 Christmas products on my blog and Halloween products from both North America and the UK and Oxford Street and everything else. And so you'll know that So White Bath Bomb is coming back this Christmas uh, with a little bit of a new look. And also there's a, a couple of other So White scented products that I have in my blog. And so this is the shower gel of So White. It smells like crisp, apple-y goodness. So here's a So here's a So White that I have here. And it says, let this creamy, oh-so-dreamy, apple-infused shower gel whisk you away to a captivating fairy tale land. So this says, soothing rose from Sinir, Turkey, Mary's tart apple infusion, uplifting bergamot, and nourishing rice bran oils to leave the skin smooth and enchanting an enchantment in your heart. So this has apple infusion as its first ingredient and rose water and then we have cider vinegar, bergamot oil, rose oil, orange flower oil, and neroli oil and rice bran oil. So it's a uh, crisp and and it's a, it smells like a crisp apple. Mm. I would rate So White Shower Gel a three and a half out of five rating. I love the So White Bath Bomb so very much. I like the So White Bath Bomb more than I do the Shower Gel. For it's a little tiny bit drying to my skin, and maybe that's why, um, but it smells nice. I don't know if you can see, but it's got a sort of a shimmery, shimmer to it in there it's not picking it up but it does have some white shimmer in there so that's so white shower gel so that is the lush kitchen menu for the week of september 19th through the 23rd the things that i would suggest that you get would be a vanilla delight butterball shower gel wonder woohoo Nebula and Mother of Dragons. The things that I think are going to sell out the fastest are Nebula and Mother of Dragons. Those are going to be the most popular and those are the ones I'm going to be trying to get as well. Um, I have all of the other things so I'm not going to be trying to get any of those. So um, a lot of five star rated products in this list in my opinion. Do try to get a Nebula, do try to get a Mother of Dragons, and a Wonder Woohoo, and I think you'll be very happy. Go to my blog at lushalot.com to check out all the Christmas products and all the gorgeous looking things and there's a lot of pictures on there and stuff that you can check out. And you can comment on my blog too as well if you have any questions about any of those products. So exciting, so many exciting things coming up from Lush. Did you take a look at their creative showcase? Oh my God. We have fountains that are made with gigantic experimenter bath bombs. We have giant error 404 bath bombs. We have shower soap that's made like cotton candy um, or candy floss for you UK people. We've got, um, there's a bath bomb that has a light in it and it changes colors. That's on my blog. They showed that at Creative Showcase. Chocolate mushrooms. I mean, just, there's just all kinds of crazy it was just the craziest thing ever. You gotta take a look at the Creative Showcase stuff on my blog. You'll just be like, at all the things, all the new inventions that Lush is making. So that's it. If you have any questions about next week's products, just let me know by commenting below and I'll try to answer as soon as I can. And so thanks to all of you that have been watching me and um, I'm going to give a shout out to Comforter Gal. You guys need to go check out Comforter Gal. I love watching her videos every week. So, got to say hi to Jenny. Hello. I'll talk to you after a while on that other message. And um, Corinne, how are you doing? Hi, Corinne. You guys that work at Lush that are so nice, you know who you are. And so, I hope you guys have a good weekend. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like my video by giving me a thumbs up down there. We'll talk to you very soon on the next video. Bye-bye.